It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the New York Giants and the Seattle Seahawks. And it's coming up next on Madden NFL 23. Well, no trip to the Northwest would be complete without a little rain, and we've got a lot of rain falling right now at Lumen Field in downtown Seattle. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the New York Giants and the Seattle Seahawks. Welcome again, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, and yes, the rain is falling now, and it is supposed to continue to fall throughout this game. So how do you think that will impact this contest? Well, first and foremost, both quarterbacks are going to make sure the officials have those dry footballs coming in each and every play and standing over them sometimes with a towel before the center gets up there to snap it. Second thing is the focus of all the guys who handle the football. Do they wear gloves? Do they take them off? Will they carry the ball high and tight to make sure they have good ball security? That's paramount in a game like this. Set to go now on a wet and rainy afternoon. And off we go from Seattle. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Here come the Giants, led out by their former sixth overall pick out of Duke back in 2019, Daniel Jones under center. New York State committed to Daniel Jones for a fourth season, but also made this a decisive year by declining his fifth-year option. 2022 looks like Jones' final chance to prove he can be the franchise face for the Giants, and he does have a cadre of weapons that he'll need to top his career highs of 3,000 yards and 24 touchdowns that he set as a rookie. Jones looking to throw right away. As this complete to Daniel Bellinger. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. A gain of eight there on the play. And they'll be left with second and a couple. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. On the ground, this is Saquon Barkley. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. And that run was memorable for only one reason. There's absolutely no place to run with the football. No gaps, no creases, no gain. An early task, two plays in. This is third and two. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. First down for the Giants as they pick up 12. Third and short, so didn't need much, but got a little extra on the backside. Nice run. Chewed up the yardage, didn't he? To me, that was offensive line with leverage, good blocking angles, taking on a stacked defensive front. And once they chopped that little hole in the beginning, he took it and rambled. And just the third play from scrimmage, wanted to avoid the three and out and did just that. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. On second and nine, Jones. And that nearly an interception here on this opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. Well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they're up to the challenge. 
After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Throwing Jones. On the sideline, did he keep his feet in bounds? They say yes. Great job, both feet in, first down. 19 yards that time for number 19. We got to like what you're seeing from this offense here on the first drive. A nice, sustained series to begin the game, and it will continue after picking up another first there. Would you say the word methodical comes to mind? I love the execution. I love what they're doing on this drive. They're controlling the ball, controlling the game, controlling the clock. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 41. Now Jones. This one goes out wide for Barkley. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. I like it. I like it. I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game. And you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. It really gets them amped up as they go forward. On second down, here's Barkley. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Play number nine now on this pretty long opening drive. But this is third down. It's Barkley on the counter. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. Had a chance to maybe limit them to three if they could have gotten that stop there, but a new set of downs. And with a new set of downs, you got to take the mentality of the whole thing. Right now, everyone's looking at the offense and saying they've got the advantage. The best defenses just say, okay, new set of downs. It gives us another chance to make a play ourselves and maybe change things up. James has got it. Complete. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and 10. Operating from the gun, Jones. Eluding the pressure right. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Daniel Jones, a 10-yard touchdown run. And the Giants will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Right off the bat, they start with a very solid, methodical 10-play drive. And you know me. I tend to look at things from the defensive side. They're coming off the field gassed right away. We're in the first drive of the game. So it's not just what happened, but think of the emotion you carry into a game then double it with getting a 10-play drive put on you and points scored, they're pretty tired right now. A good hold in these wet conditions. The point after is up and good, and it's now a 7-0 game. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Taken in at the three. And he's going to get this across the 20 as he's out of bounds at the 23. As Seattle's offense comes onto the field, we'll see a 10-year veteran under center. Guy who broke into the league as a starter back in 2013, Geno Smith. I still remember back in 2013 when he was drafted out of West Virginia. He was coming off a of back-to-back 4,000-yard seasons for the Mountaineers. Hadn't seen as much game time in recent years, but at one point, a capable starter in the NFL. Now Gino on first down. Open man, that's Noah Fant, the tight end. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that will bring up second down. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. A 
Off of play action. Here's Smith. And he finds his target. It's Marquise Goodwin. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 15. First down, Seahawks. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. Now a throw here, hauled in. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Even against double coverage, he found enough of an opening for a noticeable gain. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now, first and 10 at the 46. They'll run here with a rookie second round pick, Kenneth Walker. Yeah, he's able to push his way forward somehow for a gain of about two yards. Second down now. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Forced out to his left. And he'll slide to a halt here, still a little shy of the first down marker. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit, and he gets a small gain on the play. From the gun on third down, Smith, he's got his tight end fan, and he is going to have a Seahawks first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Seattle, and it is the Seahawks with the football here. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Smith on first down. Going right back to Fant. And they'll work this down inside the 30. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. Looking to throw again on second down. Smith. And they'll get him down inside the red zone at the 14. It's also a gain of 14. First down. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. From the red zone now, Smith. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. So five yards here, five on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Throwing again on second down. Smith. Throw out wide to Walker. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. It looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackle him for a loss. Five in the secondary now for the Giants here on third. Here's Smith. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. But that was certainly an aggressive call and an aggressive play. Instead of just going for the first down, 
took the shot in the end zone, went for the touchdown. Yeah, and on third down, they said, forget about the sticks. We want six. On comes the Seahawk kicker here on fourth down. It's Jason Myers. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Myers' kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So both teams come away with points on their opening drives. Now they still trail. They answered the touchdown with a field goal, but at least able to break that goose egg here early. And that is what's important, right? Because they didn't let that initial touchdown go unanswered. Took the ball themselves, moved it downfield, and put it through the post for three points. Game on. The lead cut to just four as they kick it away and turn things over to their D. This will be fielded inside the five. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. They'll start out on the ground at Saquon Barkley. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Looking to throw, Jones. He'll get this complete to Kadarius Toney. Jones finding Tony for a Giants first down. Canary's Tony really created headlines with a 10-catch game as a rookie, but couldn't stay healthy enough to build on it. Still had over 400 yards in his first campaign and should blow by those numbers with a full season in 2022. Nice first down pickup for the speedster right there. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And able to use his blockers to get this up over the 40. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Three yards remain for second down. Again, it's Barkley. And three yards there takes him to the 45. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Pass is caught by Wandale Robinson. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 41-yard line. His first catch, good for 14 there and a first down. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. And they'll work this down inside the 30. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. Two minutes to play in this first half, 7-3, our score. Now Jones, throwing on first down. And he'll get this underneath, dropping it off for Barkley. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Not good enough, man. 
So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and 10. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it'll be second down. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Seven yards left for second down. Ball at the 10. Again, he'll drop to throw. Over the middle, he completes it to Robinson. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Flushed out right. Now he's got it. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Back to throw again. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up, not that time. So second and goal, and standing by himself in the backfield, Barkley. They'll look to throw again. And he's got it. Touchdown, Giants. Daniel Bellinger, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Giants will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. Gano the extra point, and that pushes the lead up to 11. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And it'll be a touchback as Tyler Lockett says, I'm not going to return this one. The Seahawks going to take over now late in this first half. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. On first and 10, Smith. That's complete to DK Metcalf. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. First and 10 here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. Throw left side complete. That's Walker. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. The result, only four yards there on the play, and it's second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack is a lot of receivers tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Now Smith, and that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. No. 
After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Back to throw, Smith. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Every day, let's do what we do every day. Show them what you got. Let's ride up. Only needing two yards on second down. Throwing is Smith. Over the middle, he finds Eskridge. And he's going to be taken down, but there's a penalty flag in the backfield. Is this a hold, or did they rough the quarterback? So now a fresh set of downs, first and 10 after roughing the passer. Again, Smith. That's caught over the middle by Fant. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. To throw again on second down, Smith. This one goes underneath to Walker. Oh, he's going to be brought down there in the field of play, and the clock will run no timeouts. They will not have the chance to bring out the field goal unit. You want the third quarter already? No problem. Let's do it. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. The Seahawk offense set to go to begin this third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. On second and ten, Smith. This is the tight end fan. And he gets this one just shy of the 35 to the 34. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. Used to be occasional, right? Safety valve. Throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Walker now on first and 10. And able to use his blockers to get this up over the 40. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? From the 41, Smith. A quick target here, complete to Metcalf. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. 
I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. Let's go. Out of the gun, Walker with it. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Sticking with Walker on second down. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Again, it's Walker taken down at the 30. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. From the 30 on second down, Smith. He completes this to Walker. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. Smith now to throw. Setting up the screen here. This is Walker. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. And that's a gutsy call there on third and short because that's a play that's got a good chance of being blown up in the backfield for a big loss of yardage. But nice job out wide to gather in that screen pass, use his blockers well, and pick up the first down. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And it's caught. Touchdown, Seahawks. DK Metcalf, a 20-yard touchdown. And the Seahawks are back within a score. And on that one, able to catch it, also able to have the wherewithal to take it in for the score. And how about the phases of a successful catch and a completion of a play? Look the ball in, secure the catch, and then, of course, the run after the catch that ends up in the end zone. Gino's going to throw toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Should have been picked. Probably doesn't matter on a two-point conversion, but still, as a former DB, you want to grab that ball when you can, don't you? You certainly do, and, and don't say it, because I know you're thinking it. Don't say it. <laughs> what am I thinking? You know what I'm thinking. I know what you're thinking. Well, if he'd had hands, he'd be playing on offense, right? Well, that's true. You've said that before. A 
five-point game now as here comes the kickoff. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. Here's the Giants offense now getting set to start the third quarter. But Charles, they still have the lead despite their defense giving up a touchdown on the previous possession. And even though they have that lead, it feels like a back and forth ball game where to try to get momentum back, maybe they need at least three here on this drive. I think you're right about that, Brandon, because your game plan doesn't change. But I do believe your urgency does because of the last score that went against your team. So what you want to do now is have your own drive and try and make sure that that momentum stays in your camp. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. On the draw, this is Barkley. And he'll get a couple up to the 29. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. Heavy set out there on third and one. They'll run it again with Barkley. Dances by him. They find some open field here. Down the numbers. There he goes. Touchdown, Giants. Saquon Barkley, 71 yards as his guys are able to extend their lead. And that run massively increased his production in this game, and now he's over 100 yards. And break out your calculator, partner, because his yards per carry went up it's significantly, skyrocketed. right? Big time jaunt all the way to the end zone. Gano now to add the extra point. And this one gives his guys a 12-point lead. So the drive there, they went 80 yards in three plays. And it's capped off by a touchdown run from Saquon Barkley. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've gotten pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, play at the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window and throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. Gino now to throw. His throw incomplete. Just what they need, a lecture from me, but subpar offense is what helped get them into this spot. And now they're continuing the trend with incompletions. That won't get them out of it if they don't change something soon. Now we sit in quarter number three out in Seattle, a second and ten now. On second down, it's Walker. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now Gino. 
Left side complete to lock it. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. I don't care how many times we see it. I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trait in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Now a first down throw, it's Smith. He's gonna float this one deep right side. And this throw will be intercepted. Picked up by the USC man, Adore Jackson. And the Giants are gonna get the football back as time will run out in this third quarter of play. So it'll be a change of possession on the turnover when we get back. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. They have to like the position that they are in. Fourth quarter, two-score lead, and now the ball back after the INT. And intercepted, maybe the turning point they need. Picked off by Quandre Diggs. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, don't change that channel just yet. This one may have gotten a bit more interesting. Put down the remote, put down the clicker. This one looked like it was over. It looked like they were ready to seal the deal. But in doing so, by pitching it around a little bit, it cost them. We could have a great finish. Jason Myers now for the extra point. And this is back to a five-point game. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. And the Giants ready to come out now. And now this fourth quarter becoming very interesting. That pick six makes this a one-score game. Still plenty of time on the clock. We'll see how aggressive they choose to be. Jones, another shot here after the pick six. Open man right side is Tony. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. Now we're going to get a timeout here as it looks like there's a Seahawk injured on the play. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. Up the middle with Barkley. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. This offense so far on third down can't be any better than a perfect six for six. They're up against a third and one situation. They'll go to Barkley again. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 124 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. 
That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Looking to throw again on second down. Jones, another pass complete to Bellinger. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. <laughs> Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Now Jones. Pressure comes. He's taken down by the Seahawks defense. Puna Ford, the one to get to him and drop him. And they visited the end zone frequently in this one, and obviously they wanted another one. But give credit to the defense there. They may not make the comeback, but pride showed good sack on that play. After that sack, third and long, tough spot for Jones and the Giants. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete. Well, that play was certainly a little bit different because on the previous play, he was sacked. This time, protection a lot better. Had time to survey the field and still couldn't find an open receiver. Here's Jamie Gillen now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And great special teams work here. This is knocking on the door of the five. They'll spot it at the six-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth-quarter lead. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. 25 yards there on the catch and run. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for them there, didn't they? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. They got to go thank the guys on D. On first down, it's Smith. Completes it to Fant on the right side. And he goes out right around the 39. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. Second and two. To throw is Smith. Flush to his right. Oh, it's out. Smith lost it. And this is going to get out of bounds. So they will gain a bit of yardage on the play, actually, and they'll hold on to the football as well. When in doubt, do it yourself as he keeps it for three and a first down. Well, obviously, you never want to fumble, but if you do, good to be towards the sideline and saves them the possession. Saves the embarrassment, saves it going down on the play sheet as a turnover. But I still think it should go to the defense, even if they don't recover it. If you give up the football, he gave up the football. Eh, uh, agree to disagree, I guess. <laughs> Can you tell what I played? Yeah, you played defense. Yeah. I'll, I'll let a, you go. I took a shot. The Smith's throw caught here by Metcalf. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. And a nice gain of 21 yards. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Now Gino on first down. And he's got the speedster Goodwin. 
And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. That's back-to-back -back plays of over 20 yards. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. From the red zone now, Smith. He'll find Eskridge here complete. It'll be a gain of five, and it's second down. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. And once again, it's Eskridge. The six yards on the pickup, and it leaves him with a first and goal. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown, and that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now, I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. Line of scrimmage, again, the four-yard line, second and goal. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he'll get it down close to the goal line, but not quite in. They get three yards closer, but still work to do. It's third and goal. An incompletion, now a short pickup. That's not going to do it. Yeah, you've got to get to the line of scrimmage quickly, get set up, and aim downfield. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. Late game, that hurts. Take the touchdown off the board. No doubt about it, and this is where you make a great movie scene, right? Go in, rally the team. Okay, we lost points there. Let's get it back and go out and score again. Can he get it done? Desperation time for Smith on fourth down. And this is caught. Touchdown. And they've taken the lead here in the final minute. Charles, what a big drive late in the fourth quarter to take this lead. And normally you're really excited if your offense has the ball late in the game. But I think this crew is really excited to have their defense go back out there because they haven't surrendered a point in the fourth quarter yet. They've helped make this comeback possible with their defensive play. Now they get a chance to finish this game off. Smith. And no, incomplete. They can't convert. So they tried to bump the lead up to a field goal. Instead, it stays at one here in the fourth. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And this taken in at the goal line. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. So now Jones and the Giants down 22-21, 57 seconds to go. They've surrendered a double-digit lead but can rescue themselves late as they come up on first down. This one goes out wide for Barkley. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28.
Counting down to 30 seconds remaining. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. Now Jones. It's Barkley once again bringing in the catch. And he's going to pick up a first down here as that clock continues to run. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. I'll tell you, far from ideal conditions to play in, but neither offense has had much trouble. Plenty of points to go around. First and ten. And he'll get this underneath, dropping it off for Barkley. And not a whole lot there, maybe three yards on first down. Sometimes it's hard to figure, but you can live with incompletions in this situation. You can't live with these short gains that take time off the clock. You know who loves it, this defense. Jones. Oh, and the throw led him too much that time. It's incomplete. So after all of this, it comes down to one final play. And just think of what it's going to be, because from this distance, you've got to be prepared for everything. Hook and laterals, tick balls, you name it. A lot of laterals after a catch. Just got to be prepared, stay on your feet defensively, and tackle someone. Here's Jones. He's going to let it fly. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. And a fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort. That was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall.